aimed to set up the Community Education Network in response to the members' needs. They articulated the need to come together as a collective at national level in order to ensure that community education has a recognition of the value of the work that it does, how it's a distinct kind of provision within the lifelong learning field, in order to ensure that learners get the best possible educational experience that they can. I think community education brings excitement into the community. No matter what class it is, people get very, very excited about what they're creating and what they're doing and they build, build incredible friendships. Community education plays a massive factor in anything to do with your mental health. I remember your audience are here, so just because your glass is back there, so you can use this arm. Ain't This was always a great umbrella group for, for community ed, but you know, when it became very specific with the network, it was really, really great. It was a great support. Longford Women's Link have been involved with the Community Education Network, with the CEN, since the very early stages. It's a really, really important network for us. To have a national voice has really, I don't think you could ever really measure the value it has. It's been fantastic. It's a fantastic resource for information exchange, for um, just learning from other centres. But particularly for us as well, we're a rural centre. It's a great opportunity for us to network with other providers that are in that, that situation. You get to meet other people. You know, we're all mixing without any negativity. It's all positive stuff. Even if you're walking down the street, you know, I might see someone from the south side and you stop and talk, but you wouldn't even know a person over that being in the courses. You get to make a bond with people you wouldn't normally see on a daily basis. It's more of a relaxed atmosphere. There isn't like lectures or teachers in the corner watching you. It's just you do everything at your own pace in your own time and it's just it's so just easier, I suppose. Up to a couple of years ago, I suppose people would just stay in their own community. But I think the Limited Community Education Network, and I think AINTIS as well, and the Community Education Network, with that, the way they've worked with learners, having citywide learner events, I think that has opened horizons and has brought people together. We're like family, like we're great, the classrooms are great, the teachers are brilliant. You're made to feel at home the minute you walk in. Mm -hmm. You're not made to feel like, what are you doing at your, like at your age, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean, it's like, Everybody's welcome. Everybody's there to help each other. Yeah. It's just somewhere you look forward to coming. My colleagues in both class I, I attend, conversation English class and hospitality course. My colleagues are very friendly. And the teachers are very kind and friendly. I was out of the work for so long. I didn't know, can I do this? It was very daunting because I, I knew nobody. It really all fell into place very quickly for myself. Um, I got on great with the people that I met. I gained confidence very quickly. I met a lot of friends. They get the opportunity, I suppose, to overcome their barriers. They get the time to, to learn. There's no pressure. Um, they also get to gain confidence. This is a knock-on effect on their families and the wider community. Community education practitioners who are part of the Community Education Network see it as a different kind of provision, one that's empowering and transformative, and the purpose of which is around social change, not about just getting an academic qualification. I think it's more the atmosphere, everything is more relaxed and you have a great support because there is a different nationality of women, there is different ages of women. I believe a community education centre needs to be big enough to be viable and small enough to know people by name. If you're an adult and you're going back to education, it's because you want to. You're there through choice and if you really love it and enjoy it, you'll find a way to stick it out. If you come here, they will sit down and talk to you as a person and say, well, where can we go from here? Everybody mm. tries to help everyone else. A community, as it says. <laughs>